Greetings, Outlanders! Greetings! Anyways, Marty, what are we gonna play? We're gonna play something really special for us both. Yes. It's our favorite game. Well, one of one of our favorite games. Oh, yes. And you have to do that. I yes. <laughs> Which... Uh, mm, this is riveting. Anyways. Yes, I don't think... Well, there's a there's a little bit. This is our first attempt at this, so there may be some technical issues. But if there is, don't get mad on the internet, because if you do, you're a sad person. <laughs> sad, sad person. <laughs> that way. Um. In a time long ago, there lived in the This was really fun when, when I was young. It was like, oh my god, it's like evil and stuff. But yeah, I don't know. The basic plan is we're gonna just speed through it. I think both of us have, like, I finished it around like once a year. I for like eight, ten times. Yeah, something like that. So we're just gonna spearhead through this and. Well, uh, we'll stop for, we'll just, yeah, we'll, nobody cares about this. Basically, there was an army and Daniel Fortescue is not a very lucky man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can say that. Yes. More will be explained later on. Yes. As we get more into it. Although this is a pretty funny cutscene just for me because it's like, when I first played this, it was like, Oh my god, but now when I look at it, it's, it's still kind of nice, except you can see later on when the animation, there's clipping issues in the animation. Yeah, you'll see it later. Alright, alright. Also, we also, we used to think that there was a, that he was a witch. We, we did, I just, I didn't know what he was. I, I always thought like that he was just a really weird looking witch. Well, I guess I thought that. Because he's... Look at his hat! That's a... That's a very womanly hat. Yeah, it's like those... What are they called again? Uh, these... Uh, what are they? These... Noble... Medieval... Yeah. Woman hats. Except... Yeah, but when you find out he's not a... He's not a... He's not a she. It's a he. And... Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let, let's watch. Let's watch. Green. <laughs> Green. There comes the clipping. You can see it. Yeah, you, you can see his arm is clipping through his legs. Yeah, it's like... I don't know why. Also, one thing you'll notice as we play this game... What is that? This game has amazing fucking music. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Oh, and one thing. Uh, the voice of Daniel Fortescue, the main character, is the lead game designer with a bucket on his head. Yeah. Can I tell you that? Yeah. I was wondering. Yeah, yeah we'll probably, like, it's online, you can read about it. Yes. <laughs> they only had one sound file for that. <laughs> I'm actually... I think it's gonna be alright. I'm just kind of worried that the, the feedback from the TV is catching on to the microphone too much. Yeah. That scared me as a child. <laughs> A lot of things in this game were scary as a child. Yeah. So. <coughs> and I also thought this was kind of cool because it's, it's this game is just so like atmospheric and shit. <laughs> it's like. Also, if Tim Burton made a video game, this is probably what it would look like. I mean, this game was influenced by Nightmare Before Christmas. Wait, when did Nightmare Before Christmas come out? 
1993? When did this game come? 1998, I think. Huh. Oh shit! I forgot. All right. Uh, let's start this. Let's let's do this. <laughs> what the fuck are you laughing about? I'm playing a game. We gotta watch this. Skulls are always smiling. By the way, if we forgot to introduce ourselves, I'm Ayit and I'm Smart. 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 It has risen again. Send Daniel to see. I don't. I think it would be annoying if we. By the way, there are two gargoyles there. I think that's because. It's because he has to talk, then he has to talk, then the gargoyle replies, but I don't think the. Because it's the only place there are two gargoyles in the same place. I think it's what. Yeah. Give it a second chance. I can't, like, program two into one. Yeah. Two dark voices. So, something like that. Yeah. Two voice files, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll start this thing. As I said, we're gonna spearhead through this game. Yes. Yeah, the deep at work, but yeah. I'll, I'll try. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta put on the uh, put on the analog. Yeah, there we go. Yay! Yeah. All right, let's see how this works. Uh... Oh. But with this, you this game uses the shoulder buttons for the camera. That was back in the old days. By the way, when I played this first, I didn't even have analogs. That's how old I am. Yeah. Wait, I think I still even have one of those. Controller? Yeah. I have it, it's somewhere in my closet. Like, I had the first... I don't know if that's the first edition of PlayStation. Mm -hmm. That's probably the first edition of PlayStation. Yes. So yeah, no analogs. The past, man. The past. Uh, Found the life bottle. Oh, man, how does this... Select. This, uh, select. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, oh my god, I'm, I'm such a nostalgic as I'm here. Actually, technically not because I play this game all the time. <laughs> I remember when I first... Uh, when we were playing this game at, uh, my friend had a demo disc. Was it that demo that, like, you have, like, Well, you have, like, a 30 minutes? Well, yeah, it was something like this. You had, or, uh, or, you had 30 minutes, or until you beat the first boss, I think. Yeah, something about that, yeah. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, we, I used to play it, and we thought the zombies were drunk people. Yeah, I remember that. We, we called them just drunks, because... I mean, we were like kids, we, the concept of zombies, like, we had none, yes. and they were just like, rrr, rrr. I was like, huh, they must, they must be just drunks. Yeah. Funny it never occurred to us that it would be horrible if you were killing drunks <laughs> in a cemetery. I mean, I mean, I guess that's just how kids think. <laughs> uh, I can't sprint yet. No, you have to beat the wolves. Yeah, beat the second wolf, I think. This level is really, really easy. Yeah, 
Well, it is easy for us because we like played this yeah, a yeah. million times. Millions of times. That, that's literally. I've literally played this millions of times. Because this game is awesome! Wait, what the? What? Oh yeah, when you click the analog. Oh, it's, it's like, like caps lock. Yeah. Caps lock running. Jump. Well, then again, you know, zombies are really that difficult. Isn't it? But yeah, this yeah, this game is such a great fucking atmosphere. By the way, that. I also really like how many there are like different themes for many of the levels. Like, yeah, yeah, like use. like the first the first few levels are just pretty much the same level. Like it, it, it's the it's, a, it's the, the graveyard and cemetery. But after that, like every level is pretty much unique. Yeah. I'm doing pretty good. Yes. Zombies. Look, the lag. Did you notice the lag? Yeah. Ah, yeah, the challenge can now be collected. Yeah, it's as if you had. Also, like, one of the things that uh, was very. Uh, sick. <laughs> I can do that. Uh, PlayStation One has a low rendering distance for 3D games, and into the wall. <laughs> Anyways, oh, but yeah, the game has really low rendering distance, which means like that you couldn't yeah, well, render too far enough. However, it works in this game because it's, it's during, a weird yeah, game. it's in the night, it's gothic, it's, it's scary, it's, it's so scary. scary. Well, I, I actually think that Crash 3, it did have some sort of... Well, you see, well, technically because in, well, in Crash Bandicoot, they're, they don't have to render that much at a time. No, because it was just a straightforward. Yeah. Kind of or maybe they just figured out how to use more of the capabilities. You notice, like some of the, a lot of the other games have like, are designed so that the camera angle is always like at an angle, so like pointed downwards. Yes. Like in like in Metal Gear Solid, then the camera is uh, pointed at the character like from an upward, uh, from a downward angle, so that they don't have to worry about rendering distance that much. Yes. But yeah, so. If you're clever about it, you can just do it. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, and yeah, this game just looks so good. It's just so like stylish and shit. Oh. Man, there's a spirit. Fuck this guy. Uh, Anyways, you want something to say? Tread softly. Zarek awaits beyond these gates. The master meets with the demon from the mausoleum. Hatching plots of purest evil. Forgotten nobody would be wise. That's also one thing I like. The gargoyles, they're just always making fun of you. All, they never give you any respect. No. No. Um, yes, let's take that. Get our crossbow. It's really weird how the crossbow works in this game because yeah, it, it actually shoots darts that ricochet. But yeah, all right. Welcome, Welcome to the, to the Hall, Hall of Heroes, Heroes where the bravest warriors from history spend eternity. That is a really funny cutscene in the in the end. If you get the good, if, if you get the the main main ending, you may be you may getting all the choices. Yes, and, yes. Yeah. and doing the good things. Yeah. Uh. Stand still. Fine. Can you hold you? It's me, Kenny Tim. Does the battle go well? <laughs> How I wish I could fight at your side again, sir. But hope. But hope. Take my crossbow. It's got rapid fire, and you can ricochet the darts off walls to shoot around corners. Well, that's very convenient. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I shot Zarek's champion, Lord Kada. A clean kill. 
the eye at some thousand yards. <laughs> Not that there's anything clever. <laughs> <laughs> the it's like, it's like, dude, I know. <laughs> I get the, I get the feeling that Candy Tim has poor social skills. <laughs> yes. It's very annoying. All right. I think we should cut here.